Hi, my name is Purva. I am going to explain verbal communication. In the process of the communication, conveying a message in the spoken form is known as the verbal communication. Exchange of the opinions is carried on with the help of the spoken words. The receivers as well as the sender of the message faces each other in this mode of the communication. Oral communication takes place in different ways such as personal talks, interviews, speeches and talking on a phone etc. There is a immediate feedback make clarification possible. Since many exchange of the communications are possible, the matter in the hand can be finally settled without any delay. Merits of verbal communication First is saves time. It saves time. There is no need to go anywhere. It always happens face to face or with or or on telephone. Therefore, there is a chance to save the time. Second is economic. Oral communication is called as the economic communication because in the case of the oral communication, no expenses are borne. Third is powerful. This is the only way of the powerful communication. In the oral communication, immediate feedback can be taken out. So, it is called as the powerful communication. Fourth is more effective. It always happens between two or more peoples on oral or telephonic basis. Therefore, chances of effective of this sort of the communication are more because everything can be happened in front of the each other. Fifth is knowledge of the reaction. In the case of the communication, immediate feedback can be taken. The sender can understand the receiver reaction immediately. Six is immediate feedback. In the case of the oral communication, immediate feedback is possible because in this type of the communication, two parties are available at the same time. Seventh is clarity of the message. There is chance of for the clarity for the message. Whatever messages are given to given by the sender can clarified at the same time by the receiver. This is way of clarity can be maintained in this type of the communication. Then demerits of the verbal communication. First is presence of the both parties. In this type of the communication, both parties are present. In certain case, it becomes a drawback in the process of the communication. Second is lack of the proofs. There is no chance to keep any sort of the proof in oral communication. So this is the main drawback of this communication. Third is expensive. Oral communication is expensive in nature in certain cases. It is not appropriate in the certain case. So it becomes very expensive in nature. Fourth is no reference. There is no reference in the case of the oral communication. There is there is no reference in the case of this communication. No reference is maintained in the case of the oral communication. Fifth is quick response. Oral communication is a quick response is possible. This facility of this quality of the oral communication becomes a drawback of this process of the communication. Six is no legal proof. There is no legal proof in this type of the communication. Everything is happened in this communication in the oral form and this is not possible to retain it permanently. Thank you.